and we're just here for my back to a new gumball review. And if you this last one, go and check it out. And before we start the next two episodes of season six of Gumball, I want to let y'all know that I am going to be, or the reviews from now on is on Hulu. Yeah, because sadly, I don't know exactly why, but HBO Max removed regular so and The Amazing World of Gumball ate off of HBO Max. And that's how I was originally watching it. But for now on, you know, for the rest of, hopefully for the rest of um, Gumball, since, you know, we're on the last season until the revival. And, you know, for the remaining of regular so, hopefully... Hulu won't remove these shows off of Hulu. But yeah, just like, thought y'all would want to know. Or to let y'all know. Yeah, again, we are back with the next two episodes of Season 6. And we start with another good one. And it starts with Detention. And yeah, Darwin actually gets sent to Detention. Yeah, he actually gets sent to Detention. And we actually see the bomb kid. And showing of how he got in Detention. <laughs> Van vandalism he wrote on there which yeah he got detention and then Darwin trying to do a good deed doing vandal or putting as bad on the vandalism part but he still gets sent to detention and yeah the bomb kid decides to or calls his gang which yeah Darwin is holding the phone for him and yeah gets introduced to the gang and yeah, giving him a ta Darwin a task by going over to this old lady's purse and cleaning it. And he's dumping the stuff out of the purse and even literally cleaning it using a vacuum. You know that's not exactly what they meant by cleaning it. Because, you know, they're bullies, right? That Darwin is helping. He, And, of course, Darwin being gull gullible and totally n not aware of in literally cleaning out the purse and yeah he gets some money and yeah they're telling him to bring it over and yeah he gets it he blows on it and puts it back in the wallet and puts it back in the purse <laughs> and even puts um one of those um hanging things you know smell those scent things that you would get at a at a car wash right that you would hang inside <laughs> On the purse. And yeah. He, they get a. Uh, sent Larry to deliver these pizzas. And. Yeah it was supposed to be. A cruel prank. But yeah he ends up giving. a The policeman ends up giving a ticket. Anyway. And. Now Darwin is going to have to. Do mud all over Mr. Small's van. And yeah, he does this mud. And he's actually happy with it. And gives him some money. And yeah, his gang, the Bomb Kid's gang, ends up fighting. And yeah, they quit. And they just leave the Bomb Kid. And yeah, he wants Darwin to pour this laundry stuff mix into the pool. And... Yeah, he uses his head to go into in the door. And then he grabs the bomb kid's card and puts it through the mouse slot. But it was supposed to be that, yeah, he's literally not doing it right. And then supposed to lift the, he's, they're trying to lift up the door and ends up crushing the bomb kid's foot. And he even calls the police and reveals the bomb kid's location or address and his name as well. And, yeah, Darwin pushes him down the stairs and, yeah, taking him so because he can't walk because it's his foot. And he tells him to go and get a bike or something. And, yeah, ends up crashing into this girl, which it turns out to be his, the bomb kid's girlfriend, which, yeah, she leaves. And, yeah, he, Darwin is just making his, his life just horrible and tells him to leave, which he says that he is going to fix everything, and made him at the bus station, which he says that he fixed everything. He helped, he helped with his gang, he helped out with his girlfriend, 
and he said that the that who was trying to break in into the the pole was his dad. Which yeah, I don't. That is especially not helping him, and doing this thing with his mom as well, which gets launched out of the plane. And yeah, he's just smiling, but he's smiling because he did not literally do all of that. But he did end up fixing everything with his gang and his girlfriend at least. And yeah, the bomb kid just doing a smile too, because of hell he was doing a joke too, and they hug it out. And he even says that he gave the bomb kid's parents a cake with sparklers saying sorry to apologize. And yeah, that's literally a bad idea because those sparkles are literally close to the fuse of his dad. And yeah, then we see an explosion of fireworks. <laughs> yeah, a very funny episode. Then we go to the next one, which starts with Gumball and Darwin sleeping and Gumball waking up because he's saying that it is the day. And saying and sewing his legs, which, yeah, they are really smooth. They are really polished looking. And saying that today is the day where he's going to do nothing today. He's just going to do an all, sewing of all these different things that they're going to do. And I'm sure a lot of people would want to do that too, just... You know, do nothing all day. I'm sure a lot of people would want to do that. And yeah, they're getting everything ready that they need. And even turning the TV sideways so they can lay their head. And even wearing a diaper so they don't have to go to the bathroom. Even this really cool thing to be able to change the con or the game and the console. And yeah, they hear a phone ringing and they're trying to blip it or ignore it drain, it, drain it out, and then we see this hazmat people just trying to warn them, and they're trying to drain it out, and then we see this meteorite, and then they're trying to drain it out, and then we see this virus happening outside, and then they try to drain it out until we see these, until these people, that some of the citizens are turning into mutants, and then they try to drain it out, and then, yeah, it's more like an apocalyptic setting, and then they try to drain it out, and then, yeah, Again, try, drain it out, and then trying to drain it out, and then trying to drain it out, so on and so forth, until it seems like things are back to normal, until we just see this random guy in a sailor kind of thing, doing this dance, and they're trying to reach the remote, and yeah, he gets this nominous call saying, let's play a game, like this evil like voice saying, let's play a game, it kind of reminds me on the on the mousetrap with at the end credit scene with Mickey going over to one of the girls that was at the party and you know was being interrogated through the movie Mickey saying come play with me I got some people I would want you to meet and we are just getting started and doing an evil laugh while she walks out of the cell that's what it reminds me of and yeah this thing comes out crawling out of the TV, and of course they're not even bothered with this skeleton dead-like person, and bringing a gift which they're not even bothered with. And they tell Larry to put the tacos that they ordered through the mail slot, and using the shovel to feed it to them. And yeah, this lightning electrocutes the TV, or the satellite, and electrocutes the TV, and he calls Banana Joe just so he can watch his TV. And, yeah, things are happening so weird now. Even the thermostat is going up and up and up, and they're starting to melt. And they then see on the news that this family is hanging off of the edge of a bridge. And we see that it's Nicole and Aiz and Richard on the edge of this bridge. And, yeah, it is not looking sturdy at all. And, yeah, they're having to go and save them. And, yeah, they're, of course... Not even trying to use their feet. Or, you know, not running or anything. And trying to call Nicole to see if they can get a ride. But, what do you think, Gumball? What do you think, Gumball? Of course they can't get you, get you a ride. They're stuck right now. And saying that your your order is about is being delivered now. And, yeah, they're being delivered. And, yeah, he leans his feet. Puts his feet on the back of it and saves them. And he's like, oh, come over and give us a hug. He's, he's not getting up. And then they see the to-do list. And 
yeah, they see this writing on the wall that they're terrified of and saying this is a message from the future. The strange things that happened today were for a reason and it was all the work of... And then, yeah, they just... Gumball and Darwin just ignore it because they, cause they found candy in the cushions. And, yeah, it's like, uh, forget it. <laughs> but, yeah, it just ends like that. We don't even know who that, who even wrote that message. <laughs> like, who even wrote that message? We, we don't know. It just ends like that. But, yeah, I'd like to know what y'all think. Let me know how to Catch you next one.